Good morning. Welcome to St. Joseph the Worker Parish at St. Mary's Church. We especially welcome those who are, who are um, viewing us today via live streaming on YouTube. Please stand and greet our celebrant, Father Dan. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, hope and light of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts, to offer you worthy prayer, and ever to extol you by dutiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin called Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all, peop all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Thotis appeared, claiming to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor or is this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of his name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching or, and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord one thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. 
Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he knew, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough to, for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much as the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, they said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, <clears throat> This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In, uh, oh, first of all, um, like a little update. Uh, first of all, we have some leaks. We'll take care of those. It's just buildings aren't really designed in this area to have three inches of water, rainwater come. So little things happen. Also, uh, thanks for everyone who was praying for my cousin and his wife and their baby. She ended up going home to Erie. And for now, everything's okay. The baby's not out of the woods. It's gonna be pretty touch and go, but um, you know, what we thought was going to be a very rough Tuesday, I called my cousin and he's like, oh, we're on the way back to Erie. We don't know what happened. <laughs> so thank you for the prayers. I, I just think it was the power of prayer. In today's gospel, um, the thing that I love most about this is the five barley loaves, the five loaves and the two fish. In my mind, I always thought it was like a big thing of like Italian bread and like a cod sandwich like at our fish fry. But actually what it is, they're like five little rolls, like of Syrian bread. They're only about that big. And they're two sardines. Because what they did at the time of Jesus, actually the main industry around the Sea of Galilee, they had sardines. They mixed them with salt, and it was like the ketchup of the Roman Empire. That's how they made all their money. Is that's, but that is what this little boy brought to Jesus. So I think the lesson for us in our lives, we could see giant problems. All we really need to do is trust him, but also just bring the two sardines in the five little little roles of our lives and the people around us and he could do miracles with them. So maybe that's something we can think about uh, today maybe in prayer. Has there been a time in your life when um, things were going wrong? 
And the, the, were you able, was the, what was the Lord able to do with two loaves, with the five loaves and the two fish in your life? And I think as you get to start doing exercises like this, as you go back into your past, as St. Ignatius of Loyola would have us do in the spiritual exercises, you start to see how he worked in the past, and then you start to see how he's working now, and then you can trust him into the future. That's how it works. But we have to go into our past and see where the Lord worked and how he worked. And then that gives us trust into the future, and that's how we're happy now and forever. Amen. And now let us raise our minds and hearts in petition to God, our loving Father. For the church, may the Lord continue to guide her in proclaiming his love through their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders throughout the world, may the wisdom of God lead them to act justly with the needs of the most vulnerable in mind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who cannot practice their faith openly, May they be upheld and strengthened through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all in our community who are struggling with ill health or injury, may the Lord bring them healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died in the light of faith, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Anna and Edward Poprocki, for whom today's Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for all those petitions we hold within the depths of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And together let's recite the prayer for St. Joseph the Worker. O oh God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to partake in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, it entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
You said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me safe for eternal life. Amen. Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. The body of Christ. Amen. What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, and what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everyone.